Okay, welcome to the ninth and final part of this video tutorial for creating your own lakes for Pishtek's VR Sport Fishing Game. We have created a lake, and now in this section we are going to talk about testing. Again, uh, we just went through the mapping and the program did it automatically. I'm going to start a new fishing trip, and right away it looks to me like my water level is not quite as high as I wanted. That's common. If you didn't pay a lot of attention to the relative height of your landscape, you might not get the depth or the, the water at the level you want. Okay, so I'm in the game with signed in as Lake Tester. I'm going to press 2, turn on my magic boat. I like the first person view for this. Right away it does really look like I am lower than I want to be. So I'm going to elevate myself with the page up key and drive around and decide how high do I really want this to be. Here's our sand texture. That looks good. Our mud up along the shoreline. I'm driving up on the land. Where do we want the water? Well, up here it's starting to turn into grass. I'm going to back down a little bit and creep up. And I drop the anchor to stop myself from drifting, even though I'm on land. This is approximately the altitude where I want the water level to be. And see my location here? That's one of the useful things about signing in as Lake Tester. We have my coordinates, including uh, 92 feet above the bottom of the map. So that is uh, the water depth I want if I want to uh, put the water here and get the depth that I want. So back in, in the text file, I can change the water level, water altitude, to 92, and that would put it right at the level that my boat's currently sitting back in the game. Or maybe I decide, you know, I don't want quite that much steepness. Let's leave this at 60, but let's reduce the land height to two-thirds of what it was. So make things not quite as steep. So 0.67. So now, the water level should still be at about two-thirds. So again, I, it would have been 92, but I'm going to shrink the land by two-thirds, which would take the 92 and make it just over 60. Well, it's already set to 60. So I'm going to save this file, restart the game, and check the effect. Once again, don't forget to start the game up again every time you, uh, you make changes, and be ready for mapping lake structure. But you can already see the hills don't look as high, but the water level looks a lot closer to the uh, area, that, the level that I had in mind. So, let's give it some time to map the structure. And right now the lake looks a lot more like I envisioned it. Again, I set the uh, number of trees pretty high, and you can see I went pretty high in the pine tree percentage. Right away, I think the next thing we want to do, I'm press 2 to get the magic boat, we want to put this bait shop somewhere other than on an island in the middle of the lake. I'm going to press M to bring up the little map. The bait shop always faces to the west, so it needs to be on an eastern shore. Um, so somewhere pick an east, uh, eastern shore, east side of the lake somewhere, where the land isn't terribly steep, and that's where you want to put your bait shop. Now I, I could go up in like, this area, so it's still an eastern shore of that bay. But, um, or out on this peninsula, that would be a possibility. It's just kind of fun to cruise around. Oh, it's not a peninsula, it's an island, so maybe we don't want it there. I'm going to slow down to a stop and make sure I'm heading east. I'm kind of heading more south right now. This might be an okay place to put it. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to turn off the magic boat for a moment and kind of look around and see if this is what I want people to come out on. So they're going to have to, uh, they'll be in the small bay right away when they start it out. Also keep in mind that people fishing from the dock, this is where they're going to do it. Okay, magic boat back on, uh, lower it down to the water level, and I'm going to drive it um, slightly onto the shore and say, where do I want my bait shop? We're going to go on uh, 100 feet or so up onto land, maybe 200 don't worry about the trees, the game will automatically remove trees that are in the way of the bait shop. Um, drop anchor. This looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to leave the game running and bring up my text editor, and I'm going to put the bait shop right where I'm at. You have an X and a Z parameter. Well, there's your X and Z location. Uh, 1623 is the X. You wonder why it's uh, uh, X and Z Y is actually your height, but it shows you your map coordinates first, then your altitude. So 1221 is our Z. I'm 
going to edit that in there. Again, I've changed the world. I've changed this file. So the next time I start this up, it's going to have to remap the world again. Let's go ahead and uh, let it do that, and I will restart the game. And we're now starting a new game. And there's our bait shop right where we wanted it. The dock uh, looks fine. We want to make sure it's navigable, things to test it, that we can, in fact, uh, get our boat out of this area, that we aren't trapped in some uh, shallow little reef area. I'm watching the fish locator right now. It got down to five feet on the locator. Um, let's bring up the big screen. But yeah, no problem getting out onto the main body of the lake. So that's one of the things we'll test. I'm also going to press, I'm going to slow down here. I'm going to press 8, pop up our magic fish. And, oh, we got some muskies over there. Looks like some big ones. We've got smallmouth. Uh, notice they're not actually, uh, they're not doing very much right now. Uh, because we are in drive mode, and we're, and we're not in our magic boat. If we turn on, on the magic boat, if I press 2, the boat disappears. Now you'll see the fish actually swimming. Uh, the reason for that is normally while you're driving your boat, the game's not going to do a lot of fish AI to keep the game running fast. But when you're driving your magic boat, you want to be able to see these guys in their environment and watch them. Your magic boat will also not spook fish, so you can drive right up to where they are. Let's pull up to this muskie. Uh, slow to a stop. I'm going to press 8 to send him back underwater. Press 9 to give us super clear water. Page down, take us under the water. And there he is. We're going to get a little closer. The boat moves slowly now that we're in uh, submarine mode. And I'm going to turn the super clear water back off. And we are following our muskie through the lake. Again, super clear water with 9. It looked like we had a weed bed. Um, I thought I saw some weeds, maybe not. This is a pretty sandy part of the lake, uh, not a lot of uh, vegetation here. But that's one of the things you want to check when you're testing your lake. Let's go up above the surface, and we'll fly very quickly with the clear water still on. There's some, uh, oh, that's just sand. I thought we had vegetation here. But maybe that's an issue. Maybe I raised my water level up to the point that we don't get as many weeds. There's a bunch. There we have some. Also remember, when you're testing, check your settings. Even if your game, your computer can't run it at high speed uh, with the weeds maxed out, set your weed and tree levels high at least part of the time while you're testing so you see what's really there, even if your players may sometimes uh, have less of it. Well, test your lake, uh, fish on it, with, sign them with a different uh, character and actually fish. Try it at different times of year. Make sure the fish are where you expect them to be. Um, and that's the gist of it. You have created a lake. And uh, this one will be showing up in the game. Look for Deer Lake as part of the next update that's about to come out uh, in May for VR Sport Fishing. This will be a new addition right here. I'll tweak a few things, maybe adjust some fish populations. But supposing you created a lake like this and you want to share it with other people, what do you want to do? Well, go to the folder that you have created it in. Uh, in this case, it's the... Uh, the uh, folder where the game is installed. I'll sort by date modified. Uh, create a new um, compressed folder or a new zip file. I'm going to call it deerlake.zip. Alright, I'm going to refresh my view here. And I want to put the um, Dot .lak file, the dot .dat file, that was man, man, uh, automatically created. If you don't include it, it will get created for your users on their computer, but then they'll go through that, that time too. All your alpha layers, uh, your height field, your texture, and basically that's it. Uh, drag those in there, zip them up, and upload it, and you're done. So, that is how you create and how you share your lake. If you used any custom textures, any custom sounds, make sure you put those in your zip file. If you have any special instructions, like if you put all your files... Oh, I left a file out. Very important. I need my uh, lake definition file in there, uh, the .lak file. Got to have that. No, well, I did put it in there, so it's fine. All right, but give somebody these files. If they have the newest full version of VR Sport Fishing, they will see your lake and be ready to fish it. So, that's it. Good luck. I look forward to experiencing your lakes. Have fun and tight lines.